Hey guys, this is Alex from a &R Design. What video are we shooting? Holster maintenance? Dude, I don't wanna fucking do this, you do this. I'm going home. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> I'm Ian, I'm an operations manager here at a &R, and today, we're gonna teach you how to maintenance your holster because you should be maintenancing your holster just as much as you clean your gun. I decided that I would like to do this video specifically for the re-education series because today I actually noticed that, you can see it right there, I have some very, very loose hardware down on my claw. I personally don't rock light Loctite on my retention screws or anything. I like to have adjustability if I want tighter or if I want it looser. Uh, I normally run it pretty tight. So I'm just gonna kind of scoot this screw down till I get some good tension and check it. We like to use this quick draw product, which is a silicone spray and a lubricant. This is perfectly fine. To apply on the inside here and if you notice like scratches or anything on the outside of your holster shell you can actually use this stuff as almost like a treatment oil and it'll get rid of some of those blemishes and things that you have from your everyday wear another cool thing about the kydex itself is it's a thermoplastic so that means if something is going wrong and you think that you possibly have the smarts to fix it things like heat guns and household hair dryers anything that's going to blow some heat and get it to about 300 degrees uh, you can actually adjust your own retention with a light it's normally right down next to this area uh, you'll notice on the inside if you unholster your gun and look down inside the shell, there's naturally gonna be some wear from where your equipment is rubbing against the Kydex. And if it's too much, you can actually take a hair dryer, heat it up to the point where it's not exactly squishy, it's just kind of a little bit pliable. And then all you do is insert your gun and then take it out, insert it, and just do this a few times and it'll actually stretch that area out and make it a little bit more comfortable in the way that you want it. Uh, there's lots of little DIY tricks like that that you can apply to your holster to make it more yours and more comfortable to yourself. We have these two also. These are, this is a Safari Land QLS and then we have the G-Code RTI mounts right here. Um, I personally, on these two mounts, I Loctite this hardware because it goes onto a battle belt or a duty belt. Uh, it normally doesn't get taken off again it will get taken off if the holster shell breaks, obviously, which we hope never happens. But those are the points of contact that I would be loctiting and worrying about. I personally do not like this. I do, don't like loctiting these because I like to have full adjustment. Personally, that's me. Uh, we do recommend that you loctite all the hardware on your holster when you receive it. I want to also highlight it's okay to use electric drills on any of your hardware as long as you're very cautious with it. If you're using an actual drill um, with the settings, you want to keep it on a lower setting, not the drill setting, because if you do that and you over tighten it, it'll toast your bushings and possibly strip the post out. Realistically, all of your Kydex should be taken care of every time you clean your gun. Uh, we really are trying to reiterate this because we do have some customers who have contacted us. They lose the hardware on their holster or something on their holster breaks. That's perfectly fine. It's normally covered under a warranty. So we just want to make sure everybody's got the proper tools and coaching to take care of their Kydex products, but yeah.